It is said to have originated during the samurai period as a test of the samurai's metal. Light 100 candles, tell 100 ghost stories, and blow out one candle after each story. Oni. Kappa. Tengu. There are various stories surrounding these three monsters that represent Japan. Other than that, you, Ray. Daedurabachi. Yasi Gakuro. Kamikiri. Samurai Nobore. Otor Oshi. Yanari. Yuen. Buruburu. There are countless ghost stories like this in Japan. It is said that when you blow out the last candle, a terrifying ghost or monster will appear. As mentioned earlier, during the Sengoku period it was a serious event used to train samurai, but in the Edo period, it took on a more playful and hedonistic character. The methods of the Sengoku period had stricter rules than the later Edo period. It was held in a three-room L-shaped corridor. The room where participants gather is unlit. The room next to it is also unlit. Place a paper lantern with 100 wicks in the deepest room and a mirror above the writing desk. After finishing one ghost story, participants grope their way through the next room to the one with the light. After blowing out one of the lights, they look themselves in the mirror and then return to the previous room. The group continues telling stories during this. The ghost stories told here are not the modern-day ghost stories that feature ghosts or monsters, but may also be so-called mysterious stories or tales of fate. It is said that when this continues and the 100th story is finished, when all the lights are extinguished and true darkness descends, some kind of real monster will appear. When they do, they will stop after episode 99 and wait until morning. It is speculated that this is a recreation that tests the courage of the samurai, and it would be a shame if something truly strange happened. Participants enter the room wearing blue robes and without carrying swords. Other dangerous objects were also removed from the room to prevent confusion and injury. But it is said that there was also a tradition of displaying swords to ward off evil spirits. Oitek Bori Akaranashi Soba Ashi R. Ayashiki Okuri Hyushigi Okuri Cho Chin Kada Hanoashi Tanuki Bayashi These seven ghost stories were very popular during the Edo period. Nine-tailed fox Raijin Fujin Taranuma Sakado Siu Ten Duji. The last one. <laughs> this is called Hayaku Monogatari.
Japan B provides information dot about Japan that is not well known. Thank you for watching until the end. We will be encouraged if you like and subscribe. Please also check out this video. For more details, please see the summary section.